Um, Graham, where do you stand on this? There's another message coming in now, and I don't know the age <laughs> of Danny, but Danny is saying, tell, Jim, tell Graham it's faster today. It's more competitive today, much more competitive than when he played. What would you say to that? Um, a few things. When I played and before I played, the um, I accept things have changed. Is it quicker? All our training, all our training at Liverpool was to do at one and two touch on far inferior pitches to what they have today. Um, does that make us, that means we had better technique because we could do it on ploughed fields where the guys today, you know, do it on carpets. I, I would want, maybe if the chap came back on, we could discuss that. <laughs> we had smaller squads, squads. I think we won the league one year with, I think, using 15 players. I'd play 65 games a season. You played or, 65? Or the squad, you know, I didn't miss. I was never injured, suspended a couple of times. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, I would play the vast majority of those games. Uh, yeah, lots of games. Um, but is the league more competitive now? Well, well I'm, I'm going. To, I'm, I'm asking this young. But he's a young guy. We didn't try. We didn't fly to places. We would have you know get stuck on motorways, and we would um, maybe not live the best of lifestyles. But I think it was tough then to win the league. We could get beaten by anyone on any given day, and that is still the same here. Um, and at this time of year, as I remember, it was always as is today. Three or four teams that were fighting for the league. I, I I wouldn't listen to make a direct comparison. I would love to play today because I think it'd be an absolute doddle playing today. I really a doddle do. playing an today. An absolute doddle today. It would be a doddle for, me, for you for playing me. yesterday at the Emirates. For me, it would be a doddle. Yeah. In what way? You well, just stroll through yesterday well, at think, the Emirates. I think midfield players today get away with murder. You see them, and the, some some are regarded as proper midfield players. They get on the ball and they pass it sideways. Like and a pass it side. Like give, give me an There's example. There's lots of them. They've been bought for lots of big money. If you had come to Melwood, our training ground at Liverpool, and Ronnie Moran, our coach, and and watched a small sided game, you know the most common thing you would have heard? Play it forward. Play it forward. Stop. He would stop the game. Look, he'd say, I'm 50. I can pass it sideways. You play it forward. Play it forward. Look forward. Today, they go down, this is what happens and I had a term for it at Liverpool and I fell foul that once in my second home, my second game at home for Liverpool and it would be, it would be rude of me to mention the term they had because it was referring to a player who played at that time. What it meant, don't be doing a, a here son, you go back into the back four, take a nice easy pass, no pressure and you pass it square. That's, that was called doing A. And the modern midfield player does it all the time now. They go into the back four, get a ball and pass it out to the full back under no pressure. If I had gone into the back four and said to Alan Hanson or Mark Lawrence, give me the ball, they would have told me to off. Well, so, so they, they all thought been, they were better players. If you'd been me. playing for Liverpool at the Emirates yesterday, you'd have found I a doddle. Enjoy, I, said, I said playing in midfield be a doddle. That was a really, really full on game yesterday. That was a proper game yesterday. No one would find that a doddle. But do you yesterday. concede the league was less competitive back then? I mean, Not at all. Graham, no. this Monday morning, Liverpool at top, 51 points. Seven points behind Spurs in fifth. Mm -hmm. In between Arsenal, Man City and Villa, they're all after the title. But, but I think at this time, when I played, it was the exact same at this time of year. You know, we're three months away from the end of the season. There was more than just one or two teams challenging. It's always been the case. But That's you weren't competing against Pep City. No. A team like Pep City. Well, they're we, unbelievable. They're well, like the best we've ever seen. According to who? Oh, but wait, surely most so people City are the in best football. Team. Who, Be City the are the best team, team that's, that's ever played in England. That team that won the treble City last season. City are the best team that's ever played in England. You think? You would have to argue that. I if think, not, they're close to I it. I think some of Man United's teams, and I think some of Liverpool's teams would be equal to them. Most definitely. City's and team then, of last season. And Simon, then you got, you and then you got Arsenal's team that went the season un, unbeaten. I mean, it's gen it's a generational thing. It's you know you're talking about. Arsenal, big, powerful, yeah, power, yeah. be a match for anyone, that team that went unbeaten in the season. Just before we leave it, what did it take for you to play 65 games? Well, obviously a bit of luck and avoid injuries. Liverpool always felt they had a secret. They never overtrained. Um, and I case they get on with it. There wasn't there wasn't a sports scientist saying, oh, look at him. He's in, he's in the red area. He's in the danger area. He's going to, he's going to pull a muscle. It was get on with it. Liverpool, Liverpool are so far ahead of... Did, that come, else at that, that, did time? that come from Shankly? Because I saw an interview with Shankly talking after he quit about training and the necessity to understand it and how few people they understand were, it. They were so far ahead, mm. Simon. They would hard pre season, you know, six games in, nearly everyone's up to speed. But also, two games every week, 
you know, we played on a Tuesday. We'd do very little training in between. But also, three week we would train when we talk up. about, you know, you always got to remember in the seventies, it was two points for a win and one point for a, for a draw. Yeah. So and how many point, subs? And how many dis- subs? Distinction. When you're looking at point differentials between what's happening in the Premier League now, what's happening in the the old First Division, go back and look at the West Bromwich Albions. Go look at the, go back and look at the teams in that period See, of time that were were in competitive on, games and in competitive leagues, and look at the points differences. On that on that subject, I was manager in Newcastle. And those two rascals, Kieran, Kieran Dyer, Craig Bellamy. Ah, it was different when you played. It was a lot slower, a lot slower. I said, well, can you explain this to me? We were playing against teams from Germany or Spain or Italy that were living like you're living now. And when we played them, we always finished stronger than them. We'd always end up maybe very early got beat by them, but winning mm. games... Late in because the we, argument we wasn't kept this. all better. The framing of the argument, your argument is flawed, Jim, because you're you're bringing Man City into the equation. That wasn't the argument of the caller. The caller was saying it's a more competitive league, which yeah. means everybody beats everybody, right? How do you square that circle when Man City are getting 99 points, 102 points to win the league? They're sailing off into the sunset. Well, the argument this was about everybody beats it. So the, the argument was, the caller said, this league is more competitive than the times when Graham played. And that doesn't really stack up because if you look at it and say Man City are winning what they're winning and the way that they're winning, Man City's not the argument. It's all the other teams it's in the league. It's more competitive now, but Manchester well, City are a story it? apart from but, that. But what, I don't think it is more competitive now. I think that you might have an argument that Man City might be the greatest team of all time. You might have that argument. But the argument was the Premier League. So we're saying Arsenal are bottlers or made the observation because they drew with West Ham. They oh, got you people. Are. Oh, yeah. other people are saying it as well. Graham saying it. All right. Right. Oh, so yeah, the mate. point is, is that the argument is that the caller came on and said was the league is more competitive. We're saying, I'm saying, I don't concur with that view. Well, what about Perry, the Villa fan? Graham, players are now quicker, stronger and fitter. Medical science has almost ensured that. Players are playing until they're 40. Players retired at 33 might, when Graham played. That might be a lot, but I, I didn't. I, lots of other players didn't. But I, I think lifestyle, I can't... Yeah, of course the game has changed. But does that not factor in the, the fact that players are playing now later on would suggest the game's maybe a wee bit easier. Physicality of the game. I mean, none of these players... Imagine what... I mean, when Georgie Best was playing, getting kicked up hill and down Dale, mm. none of these modern-day players could cope with that. But, you know, you said to me, this is how it started, I said it'd be a doddle playing today. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Somebody there suggesting it's arrogance? No. Not me. Well, not no, me, no, no, no. Hesitate but, to but I just, I just pointed out, it's less demanding for midfield players today. You know, when I when I put it was all about getting to the ball first, you know, in the centre circle, you know, where mud and bullets and sometimes mistimed tackles. There's none of that today. <laughs> if you go you go and take an easy pass of a centre half and you get applauded for passing out to the right back <coughs> yeah. fifteen, twenty yards. Yeah. And what, why why get, get in there. That get in where the you know, the where battlefield is. Yeah. There's our Play best who's there. a Leicester fan. I've got a lot of respect for Graham. He's a midfield great of that, there is no doubt. But when Liverpool dominated the 1980s, they only had Manchester United competing <laughs> against them. No, they didn't. When Manchester United never won the league. When Manchester United dominated the 90s, they only had Arsenal. No, that's, that's to diminish their achievements. You think, what people have to understand, if you're a player at Liverpool or you're a player at Man City right now, when the fixtures come out, the players at other teams will look at the fixtures and they will put that in a diet. Looking forward to that. Liverpool <coughs> never play an easy game. Man United never play an easy game. Man City never play an easy game because everyone's cup final. And if you play for a big team today, you cannot pick, not today, if you play for a big team, you cannot pick and choose yeah. when you're at it. If you look at the point statistics over the last 30 oh, years, hello. I've just yeah. been sent by one of the associate producers, and producers, Joe. It's getting less competitive because the gap is getting wider between the teams that are finishing third and fourth or the teams that are finishing in the bottom of the league. The points totals are doubling, so it's actually less of a competitive league. So what we're talking about, your argument is, oh, but don't worry about Man City. We're not talking about Man City and their ability. We're talking about the competitivity of the league. The caller came on and said, it's not a given that you beat these lesser sides. The league's more competitive and it's proving to be not the case. That's yeah, not the case. But the whole point of the league at the moment is to topple Manchester City. And that's not happening at the moment. We've <laughs> never had anything like that. Liverpool have won the title once, once in a but long, Arsenal long time. Arsenal didn't, didn't win, didn't lose the league last year because Man City done them twice. They lost the league because they, they didn't themselves. beat Everton, didn't beat Brentford, didn't beat Bright, Brighton, didn't beat West Ham, didn't beat Forest. That's why they lost the league. And that, yeah, but, apparently, the argument was that makes it more competitive. But City, your argument is City, City, City went an incredible. I'm liking run last this year. us against Jim. 
<laughs> I know, this. I know. But it's still a doddle. It would have been a doddle for I, you I at think the moment. The majority of the, I'm not saying yesterday. Yesterday was a proper game. Two proper teams. You know, it'd be hard to play against Arsenal when they're fired up like that. But in general today, as a midfield player, far easier today than it was when I played. I thank you. Even with VAR. We're coming up to 10 to 11. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.